I'm visiting a historic town in West Virginia, where I meet one of the most bizarre owners I have ever encountered. It's like a hoarder's anonymous. Junk on top of junk. Not only is she unaware of the damage she has done, the wall's rotten, and you just go and paint over it. It's really solid. You can't just band-aid this place. But her unwillingness to change or even listen. You're boiling a burger. I eat them often. We're all pretending that this is good. Proves to be the biggest hurdle for me. You are seriously in denial. Just 60 miles from Washington, D.C., is one of America's most celebrated small towns, Harpers Ferry. Situated between the beautiful Potomac and Shenandoah Rivers is the Towns Inn. My wife, Anna, and I bought the inn for my mom back in 2007. We wanted it to be a good investment, but we also bought more with our hearts than our heads. I think it's the type of woman who's happiest when she's working, so we figured this would be a good place for her to work and enjoy um, the season of life that she's in. I'm a grandmother, so it's kind of grandmother's house. And I'm here mainly because I've retired from teaching. I love historical properties and decided that being an innkeeper would be a fun thing for the rest of my life. The Towns Inn is probably kind of like a circus. Karen's the ringleader, and you never know what's gonna happen next. Working for Karen is interesting. It's frustrating. She's pretty set in her ways, and it's her way or the highway. I think what makes someone a good mom isn't necessarily what makes someone a good boss or a good business owner. Karen, as a businesswoman, she don't have no experience, and is awful. Karen treats this place as both her business and her home, but more her home. I mean, her bedroom was in her office. You know, she'd sleep right there, pretty much in the dining room. I have asked Karen, is this your home or restaurant or is it an inn? You can't have it all three ways and expect to make money. Karen is absolutely a hoarder. Karen hoards her clothes, old shoes, books, baskets. Don't even get me started on those damn baskets. There's baskets everywhere. You could open a closet in a hotel room and see a pile of baskets. You could walk in our server area, open the fridge, and I bet there'd be a basket there because they're literally everywhere. Karen's in denial of what's wrong. She needs to separate herself from this place or things aren't gonna change. We are suffering, we are in debt, and the customers are going away. While we don't want to sell the Towns in, I think we're certainly at a crossroads of just saying, is this becoming overwhelming for my mom? You know, she's not getting any younger, and it's just, it could be a potential train wreck. So if the ship is sinking, then we want to make sure we get our mom off of the boat before it sinks. Wow, look at this place. Gorgeous. Fresh food. Wow. Nice to see you. Karen Townsend. Karen, good to see you. I'm glad wow, you're what here. A gorgeous little town. Does it remind you um, of your, uh, well, Isn't it kind of the quaint it village? It reminds me of a movie set. I mean, it's just it's been literally... It's that many times. Has it really? Yeah. Wow. OK, I mean, just yeah, have a quick yeah. look around, and uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'll follow you. OK. Um, what's all this out here? What is that? Oh, that's just for watering the plants. Yeah, and we get a lot of hikers, and wow. it rains here sometimes. What is that? Well, who knows? It's been here a oh. long time. It, but it's like Freddy Krueger's hat. <laughs> who, 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 who's this? It's just there for anybody that wants to borrow oh, it. Oh, I see. And does anyone borrow that? Karen? No, they haven't no. yet. <laughs> Interesting. Another one as well. And what are these? <laughs> they're all for sale. They're, oh, they're for sale? Yeah, see? Summer hats. How much are these? Three, three, to, three to 20. Three? Depends. And this is how much? Uh, maybe not more. Whatever you want to offer. Well, We're very flexible. I'm not too sure if it's my style, and, uh, ooh, that's dusty That's there. a pretty special one. Um, why is it so special? Because it's... Uh, Full of dust. Yeah, West Virginia. Uh, and this much, is almost heaven. How much is that one? It's whatever you offer. Are these secondhand? No, not that. Right. Some things are, but not that. <laughs> well, it's your business. Are you okay. selling many? Are you, are you busy? No. We don't really sell a lot of hats. I see. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. You've got customers in already. Hello. This is my Hi, friend customer. Sarah. Hmm. Sarah. Oh. Nice to meet you. Oh, well, good to see you. Nice to meet are you, you. joining us for lunch today, or are you? 
I have no idea. I'm up to whatever. I'm here. I do. Um, what does that mean? She's just a family friend. Oh, I'm a, fan, okay, right. I'm so you're not a customer. Person. I'm so sorry. Right. I'm not a customer. Is this a convenience store or? This is a is dining it? room. Wow. I mean, it's very claustrophobic in here. It is. Bits and bobs of everything. And those um, freaky dolls. Well, what are they for? They are sort of uh, souvenirs. Oh, are you selling lots? We do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, a bit dusty. A lot of people who come here have children. They're looking for something to take back. What about this one here, the Collector's Choice? How much is this one? I think 25. <laughs> Jesus, so dusty. I didn't know they were for sale. You didn't know they're for sale. How much does this room make a month? Um, I can't give you an exact figure because we record right. the purchases in with the restaurant sales. Yeah. But I would say 15% of sales. 15%? Mm-hmm. Who drinks all this cider? Uh, no, actually, we use that in the restaurant. Jeez. Well, but we sell a lot of it. It's good in the summer, June, July, and August. Now, my daughter made those. Right. Uh, what are they? They're little hats for little children. It's full of dust and hair. And what's this? Hot pads, handmade. Hot pads? Mm hmm. Is that $60? Who buys this? People with children. I hope people with children. <laughs> That's full of dust inside. Well, you have to wash it before you use it. Look. And um, what's this? Uh, this is Sarah's journal. So she keeps a journal? Yeah. Wow. So it's, uh, it's almost like a novel. It is. And she puts sermon notes and telephone numbers and prices, wow. and she calls it her brain. Oh, public bathroom, decorate with baskets. Yeah, wow. she decorated the baskets up in my washroom. Oh. Oh, dear. OK. Wow. So um, All right. what's that there? That is a bottle holder. You can put like a water bottle in oh. it. So it's, it does appeal well, to hikers. I thought it was a bicycles. jock strap. Do you know what that is? Oh, you know, it could. It looks uh, like a jock yeah. strap. I hadn't thought of that, well, but you got a point. <laughs> what's that down this, there? That's our bread. And then behind that is a closet where our potatoes are kept. But uh, are, the, are the loaves for sale too? If someone asks for them. And hikers do sometimes, but normally it's, um, it's just for the breakfast. We have toast. Are you expecting a lot of people? That's how much we go through in a few days, believe it or not. Really? Unfortunately, they're out of date as well. We couldn't. Are you serious? Second of November. OK, you're right. Today's the sixth. Oh, that's very embarrassing. Yeah. Let's go to my, uh, my room. What is that? Oh, these are my famous baskets. Baskets? Yeah, I love baskets and I collect them. Beautiful baskets for sale. Prices vary from $1 to $30. Stop it. $30. Well, so, Man. Some of them are very unique. You're telling me that families come in here and they mm -hmm. go for a hike and they buy these baskets on the way mm -hmm. to the mountains. Mm -hmm. Stop. This one's full of bugs. I guess I wouldn't buy that one, would you? $12. Mm -hmm. And that's with the cockroaches. We don't charge extra. Wow, that was twelve ninety nine. It's reduced down to five dollars. Oh, bugs in there as well. Bloody hell! Do you get them as gifts and then resell them? Uh, no, I just buy them when I find them places I oh, collect. What the hell is that? It's an Easter basket. Ah, that's an Easter basket. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell, poor bunny. And how much is that? One dollar. Yep. Wow, well, can you go any lower? Nope. Huh? We don't deal in cents. Ay ay ay, Karen, you're starting to scare me. Seriously, you are a basket case. That's Already. a good point. <laughs> Honestly, there's dust everywhere up here as well. When was the last time this place was dusted? Uh, theoretically, every day. Every Oh, every day? Yeah. This is my yeah. room named this after is the Potomac river. river. Wow. Bloody hell. Oh, dear. And this is it. Wow. Uh, wow. We have five rooms. This one is 130. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> what? what? What happened it's, there? You're taller than I am. See how he just lays up there on the on top of the... No, see, there you go. The pole's too short, my darling, look. So... There see. you go. <laughs> look, that's there. And this has been here since 2007, and it's never right. fallen down. Oh, really? Flip it now. OK. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, OK. Let's leave him there for now. Let's get some light in here. OK, I'm going to unpack and... That, oh. That's private. What do you mean it's private? This is my bedroom. Uh, well, but this is off limits. It's got a lock on it. It's like a storage closet. But if I'm paying for the room, I'd like to get into my wardrobe. Well, you're not paying for that. You're paying for everything else. Well, then... Really? <laughs> We've got these little things you can put your suitcase on. But what's in here? My clothes. Your clothes? Mm -hmm. 
Seriously? Seriously. So it's you... very inconvenient when there are people here and I can't get to my clothes, but I live with it. Um, I want to hang my clothes oh. in my wardrobe. 1840. We, we use hooks. Hooks? Mm-hmm. Uh, why don't you get me a key to open this? I need to hang my, uh, my jacket. Um, you'll just have to use a hook. <laughs> Um, once again, this is a rental. You're renting me a room. I'm here to help you, and I'd like to use my wardrobe. Mm -hmm. Can um, I have a look inside then, please? Because I'm just worried in case you put somebody in there. There you go. <laughs> These are all your clothes? Mm -hmm. Literally all. That's it? That's it. Well, there's a few jackets in the wardrobe upstairs. So you have another... Right above wardrobe. us is another room. In another room that you mm -hmm. rent out with a padlock on? Mm hmm Come on. You're paying $130 for the owner's clothes to stay in the wardrobe. That's a first for me. Congratulations. I feel really uncomfortable about having my wardrobe full of all your clothes. I'll... I can cover it up, but it stays locked, so you can just ignore it. Can I just have half of this, then? Do you mind? Oh, OK. Um... Shelley? Shelley? <laughs> How much shit can one get <laughs> into the water? Gordon wanted uh, you to bring some of those clothes and things down. Just put them in my office, OK? Oh, my. Uh, oh, my. Do you see Karen wearing this stuff? No, Karen wears about two outfits. What do you mean she wears two outfits? I've never seen her in anything other than what she's wearing in denim and beige. It's like garments from the Civil War. And do you ever go through this stuff, Karen? Do you ever think, wow, I'll change colour today, maybe a bright colour with red or blue? Seasonally. Seasonally. Mm -hmm. So this is your fall look now. This is this is how we head into winter. In the summer, it's usually denim or a beige. Denim. OK, so no, no white after Labor Day, then? Never. Never. OK, thank you. Thank you. No problem. <sighs> wow, this is crazy. I mean, I've never met such a basket case like this in all my life. I mean, the place is cluttered. And it's almost like her belongings are everywhere. You turn left or right, there's either a basket or an item of Karen's clothing. What is that? Uh, <laughs> oh, pillowcases. What's in here? Looks like a blanket. More baskets. More baskets, of course. My room is cluttered. And here, look at that in there. Oh, my God. Look at all this stuff. Fuck. <laughs> How could you fit all that in there? That is, um, definitely took skill. Where is she? Downstairs in the bathroom. Ask her to come up with you, please. This is insane. Karen? Yes. Karen? Yes. Look at all this stuff. Shoes, handbags, scarves. Just smell them. Oof. It smells like my shoes. <laughs> but they stink, my darling. They reek. You can't Let smell. Let me smell your shoes. You no, they, smell they, they, my... smell, they smell like, um, like my shoes, yeah. They shouldn't be in my room. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, in my mind, you rented everything except this wardrobe, which I well, like. Well, you didn't tell me that like when you took my do. money. You didn't ask. Uh, and what about these? Those are extra sets of linens. Yeah, but uh, why do I want all them underneath my bed? Now, you don't need to be under the bed, do you? But we'll get this out for you, and I'll just put it downstairs. Right. Please. Unbelievable. I just want to sleep in a room that's not clustered. Oh. Watch your step. Watch out. I have never experienced a place like this before. Dolls, hats, baskets full of bugs, a wardrobe full of the owner's clothes. To be honest, I'm frightened about the meal I'm about to eat. What's that? What is that? Yeah, it looks like a something that... Can I buy this? Absolutely. Chopsticks? Why would you go hiking with a fucking pair of chopsticks? And a little wooden spoon. I'll take that. You can add it to my tab. Brenda, I'm seating um, Gordon. Yes, ma'am. <sighs> right here. I'm going to start you with an ice water, OK? Yes, please. Okay. And Brenda's going to be... How for... often does that thing go through? Once an hour, at least. Yeah. Any chance it can go through the hotel? No, I wouldn't think so, no. The 
towns in and Harpers Ferry, almost heaven. Certainly not my room, that's for sure. Hey, how you doing? How are you, hey, All right, good Lamont Johnson. Um, first name is? Lamont. Lamont, good to see you. What do you do? Uh, a little bit of everything. Big question. Where do you store your clothes? Oh, do I have any of your clothes in my room? Oh, no, no, sir. No, because no, we're the same size. Oh, no. <laughs> Shoes under oh, the bed? I promise. No. Toys under the bed? None of mine. Promise me? I promise. Excellent. I, I there, promise. Man. Yes, sir. Good to see hey, you. Nice man. meeting you. Likewise. All right. Are you ready? Nice to see you. How long have you been here? Two years. Two years. How's it gone? It's a little frustrating sometimes. In which way? Miss Karen is just very chaotic. She's eccentric. We have to knock on her door when we come in and let her know we're here. Right. And sometimes she'll slam the door in your face, or you never know what you're going to get. Really? She, yeah. I've never quite come across an owner uh, that is right, right. so out there. And all this stuff outside. It's is that a fridge home. outside? That's our um, kitchen products. Outside? Outside. Yes. And this fridge here? That is for the owner's stuff. They keep their food in there. Stop it. No. Look, he's going to go look. Oh, my God. Stop. Let me move this. Seriously? Oh, I'm scared. What is that? What is that? What is that? I have no idea. Jesus. I don't know. That is gnarly, huh? Gnarly. <laughs> That's gnarly. So you have your own personal fridge as well? Yeah? Yeah. Outside? Well, there's no room inside, yeah. Okay, and what's that over there? Over there? It? Yeah. This is where we store our produce. This is for the restaurant? Yes. Seriously? Look at that. Ugh. Oh, oh, man. I can show you the receipts that we buy but, fresh But I, I'm not interested in the receipts. Fresh every week or every season? Yeah. No, touch it. I don't want to touch it. You don't want to touch it? No. But you want to serve it? Karen, look, it's disintegrated I, in my I hands. I don't want to touch it. More fridges down there? This way. Bloody hell. Man, how old are these freezers? This one's this... about three years old. No. When was the last time it was defrosted? I don't know. Bloody hell. And all this stuff stays outside? Yeah. Jesus, and what's that's in here? A, a fridge. Uh, so that's more like a fridge. So it's a fridge operating? We use it as a fridge. Mm -hmm. But there's more bread in here. Yeah. Uh, this is how much we need. We keep running out of stuff. You do not need all this. Absolutely impossible. Well, What's I'll that? I'll ask the egg rolls. Egg rolls. Mm -hmm. But you're just hoarding stuff, Karen. And that? Do you smoke? I don't. I've never smoked it's disgusting. in my life. Me neither. I tried when I was 17. Sausage, brats. This is insane. You've never smoked cigarettes. Anything else? I would graduate from high school in 67, and that kind of marijuana, but I took one puff and it made me sick and I just... All oh, right. Um, you know, I was hungry, but I've sort of... Uh, Lost your awesome appetite. Idea. Let's start off with mac and cheese. OK. What else? The fiesta stew. OK. Uh, let's have a trout as well. A trout. OK. OK. Thanks. I'll get that going. Right back. Oh my God. OK, here's his ticket. OK, look. That's how we ordered it. So mac and cheese. Yeah. Are these yours? Yes. Well, I bought them. Oh, from my store. From your store. <laughs> okay. No wonderful, I like them. Oh. So mac and cheese. Thank you, ma'am. The mac wow. and cheese. That's mac and cheese. That's the mac and cheese. Uh, why is it all split on top? It looks like a soup. It was in the fridge, and then they microwaved it. He's scared to eat it. That is the weirdest and the most plastic-looking mac and cheese I've ever seen in my entire life. There's no seasoning in there. There's no okay. salt. Yeah, please. Absolutely. That deserves to be put under the bed. Mac and cheese. He said it needs to be put under the bed. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Now we're off to Fiesta Stew. Fiesta Stew. So we have a Mexican-themed stew. Correct. And um, when was the Fiesta Stew made? I can go ask. Please. <sighs> Fucking hell. Hey, Jill, when was the Fiesta stew made? What's the date on it? Let me check. 11 1. Okay. November 1st. Uh, and the, today, today's the 6th. Today's six. the 6th. Six. Six. Yes. So nothing's ever fresh. 
Mm, never. <laughs> that was terrible. Do you want some hot sauce? No, no, no I'm fine. Okay. I'll, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll move on to the next course. I'm going to take that away. Okay. When was this uh, caught? <laughs> oh. Oh. Yesterday, a 40 miles away. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Trout. And Jeff said he caught it yesterday. So he caught it from the it, frozen food section. Correct. Wow. It's just watery. Mm. How sad is that? OK. Yeah. That's a disaster. Disaster. All right. Disaster trout. It's disaster trout. What's wrong with it? It's watery, and he knows it wasn't caught yesterday or today. <laughs> Sarah, what are you doing? Putting labels, um, magnet labels. What, do not eat? No, I'm putting ice cream. You're putting labels on a freezer to tell the Muppets in the kitchen that that's ice cream in that container. Kieran had asked me to do it. And when you work here, Miss Sarah, do you get paid or are you on the payroll? Oh, no, I'm not on the payroll. It's all volunteer. I visit a lot because I'm semi-retired right now. Also, this is my mini bio. Wow. Blood yes, drives. Sir. I run blood drives every two months. Right. Wikipedia editor. Mm-hmm, I've done that. Wow, you write art, travel, tutor, acronyms. You teach Greek. I do. Inspire, loyalty. <laughs> You're a busy lady. Yes, sir. And then... Um, and then I run circles around naughty problems. So, um, I run circles around naughty problems. Yeah, like, well, if there's something that needs to be figured out, I yeah. try and figure out a way to solve the issue. How about but... a big circle around Karen? I try to do that. I may have just a quick look at the labels. And any other, any other labels? Sure, cheesecake, just things. Chicken breasts, guacamole, veggie burgers, tortillas. And you just stick them on the side of the freezer? Yes. Let me tell you what you should be making a sign. That's the only thing that should go on there. Do not enter. Ooh, that's brutal. Can you put that on a magnet and stick that on each freezer and one on Miss Karen's fridge as well? Thank you. Fuck me. The Towns Inn is much worse than I expected. The owner not only has a hoarding problem with her clothes, but she's doing the same with her food. Um, Lamont. Yes, sir. Why are you taking these? Uh, she wanted me to remove these until she can but find something else to do I with I only it. took out one bag out of my wardrobe. Where's the rest of them from? Um, I have no idea. No. I just noticed she had clothes upstairs, and she asked me to move them. <laughs> Lamont, seriously? Mm-hmm. Go and get her for me, please. Sir. Holy shit. I mean... <laughs> Sir, he said he want to talk to you. Okay. Miss Karen. Yes. Is this, is this all yours? That's what came from what? the wardrobe. Another wardrobe. No, 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 the one that you emptied. No, I had one bag full of stuff. No, this but, is the stuff that was in the black wardrobe but, in your room. But where's this stuff going now? To his basement to till I can sort his it out. His basement. Mm-hmm. Because I don't have any place to store it here. What is it? It's my clothes. clothes. Her clothes. The things that came out of the black wardrobe that we keep locked up in the Potomac room. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever ask Where yourself if you have a problem holding on to things? <laughs> have you ever heard of the word hoarder? <laughs> Miss Karen, this is your business. <laughs> this is your hotel, not your junk shop. Mm -hmm. Can you get the team out from the kitchen? I'd like to have a quick word with you all in the terrace. Yes, sir. Um, good luck with that stuff. Yes, sir. Yeah? Yes, sir. Uh, Miss Thank Karen, you. can we meet the team on the yes, terrace? Sir. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six bags. You want to check the things for bugs as well. I'm in shock. Are you joining us, Miss Sarah, yes, or are you sir. still writing labels? No, I'm not writing labels. No, anymore. let's go. I arrive, the facade of the outside looks beautiful. I walk through the door and it's just like a cluster of shit. Crap everywhere. Moldy bread in a reception, freaky dolls, up to the bedrooms that's like just hideous. Wardrobes packed with clothes from 30 years ago. And I had to ask Miss Karen to get rid of the padlock so I can open up the wardrobe uh, and put my clothes in there. Honestly, the place is just ridden with, with this. It's like a hoarder's anonymous. Obviously, I needed a place to put my clothes, and so that was where I, I put them. You can't just hive off a wardrobe because it's full of your crap. 
Like you I said, I've, um, it's just a storage area. No, but it's not a storage, a storage area, area, just like your fridge yeah. downstairs. This place is played with junk on top of junk, freezers, overbearing, overfull. And as for the disgusting way that the fridge is kept with the mouldy salad, there's salad that's festered and it's like, it's almost sort of disintegrating the center, rotten. Can I just quickly go on the size of the menu? It's too big. The kitchen's about as big as my wardrobe. It's too, it's But why are you telling me that when the owner's standing next to you? I told her that, told her. but we, we, we have told her. Mm. She won't listen. Mac and cheese all separated. Every mouthful was full of grease because it was so cooked in the microwave. And that's the way we do it. People say that we, we've got the best food in town and the freshest. Oh, stop there. Now you're sounding slightly oh, bizarre. Just... The best food in town? Are you okay? Well, it depends on how you define okay. I'm okay by, sure? by my standards. But mac and cheese, I mean, come on. You know, what, what are you looking for now? Are you taking Nothing. notes? <laughs> yeah. Are you taking notes? Yeah, you're making some good what? points. And you're laughing. What's so funny then? Help me to understand. I don't have anything to do with the food. So I don't know what you're doing. I've got no idea what you're doing. What I ask her to, basically. So she does what you say? She, she helps me, yeah. Jeff, is this correct? I tell him to do one thing, and Sarah tells him to do one thing. Miss Sarah tells you what, she just... And... She says she's a volunteer. She tells my crew what to do, and it pisses me off. I get, I get mad, then they blame it on but me. She's got no authority to do that. I know. Jeff, but... you've never talked to me about this. I have told Wait you. A I have told you about this. Is this is this true? Is this where you treat the staff? Nothing more humiliating to the team that are on the ground, keeping this place open, and then a stranger comes in and tells them what to do. Well, she's not a stranger. She's been coming to here. To them, she is because she's not exactly qualified to run this place. This is so screwed up. This is bizarre. Ain't nobody hearing me what I'm saying. And what kind of message are you sending? The menu needs to be down. A menu like this? There must be 50 items on there, which 49 of them are turfed out of the bloody freezer. This place is so messed up. It's a mess, a disgusting, festering mess. Oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. I don't know. I'm just so fucking embarrassed. I know. I know. I know. So far, I've learned that not only does Karen hoard items, but she's also a controlling owner. Tonight, I want to see how the town's inn operates during the evening. How are you? Good. And your name is? My name is Tyler. Tyler. So what do you do? Um, I'm a server. OK, great. Tyler and hello. Hi, I'm Gage. Gage. Nice what are you two doing out here? We are both servers. Come Sorry, in so I can talk to you. Where's the line. best place to hang this? I can hang it for you, sir. I mean, uh, if we didn't have these filthy hats laying around. I know. Why do we have filthy hats in the hallway? Mm, looks like so, a, looks like a thrift shop, sir. Thrift shop. How old are you guys? I am 17. I am also 17. 17. Objectively, what's wrong with this place? Well, I think that we're not well organized. I also think that we need to work on cleanliness. Cleanliness? Yes. Wow, is it that bad? It can be. Uh, so what do you think is dirty? Well, uh, honestly, <laughs> uh, probably you... the kitchen and uh, some of Why the rooms. Why are you going under the mat like that? What, 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 you what? asked what was dirty, so I mean, common things that we try to clean every day that we can't always keep an eye on. Show me where the kitchen is, please. Yeah? OK. Thank you. This what happened is... here? Sarah likes to paint on the walls sometimes. Hello. Hello. Hi. What's this mess here? This is a painting, and I A didn't... what? A painting? <laughs> yes, it's like someone shat all over the wall. <laughs> is that hygienic? You're painting the walls of the kitchen? I have no idea. I you have no idea. Was... So why did you do it? The town's end became Sarah's town's end, even though she had nothing to do with owning the establishment. Karen, did you see the mess in the kitchen? She's painted the wall. Let me show you something. Just oh, in here? Yeah. Yeah. Have, yeah. have you seen it? Yes. It's one of my favorite things. You don't it's like it? It's one of your favorite things. No, seriously. <laughs> I'm live, maybe not well. Did you see the mural in the dining room? That is a children assist in guests. That's unique, isn't it? 
What is that? Well, it started as a crack in the wall, and I asked Sarah to make a vine. Is there anywhere else you've painted? There is a... Uh... In my room. You show me, please. What have you done to my wall? This and is so weird. You paint over cracks. I Look know. at this here. I know, and this apparently is something new that is falling apart. Wow. I mean... It must be wet. Wet? It's soaking wet. The plaster's just... Whoa. <laughs> These are bits of card. That's correct. It was a temporary fix. So it's not a mural. It's business cards. You put your cards on here and then you paint over the cards. You should make a label for this. Decaying wall. Do not paint over it. I mean... What? what? The wall's rotten and you just go and paint over it. It was meant as a temporary fix. The wall is rotten. You're right. And you just paint over it. You can't just go filling cracks with tacky painting. Look at it down here. You've gone over cracks and holes. Look. Jeez. Ah. Uh, what's that in there? Um, I put some sort of a mesh because it was uh, a hole and I didn't want anything to come through it. Jesus. I wish you wouldn't use that word. What? Hole? What do you want me to sing? Fucking hallelujah. That'd be better. <coughs> can you get me Karen? I can get you Karen. Please? Jesus. Watch your language, sir. What in the fuck? Miss Karen. <gasps> oh my goodness. Well, the whole thing just started coming off. The wall needs repairing and she's just painting over it. And then secondly, she found a big hole here, started putting her cards on there, and then painted over that. Mm -hmm. But inside the hole... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> this is not a paper mache. <sighs> what is she doing to your hotel? It doesn't then... go outside. I mean, it's not a hole to the outside. It's not a hole in to that... the outside? No. What does no. that mean? The stone wall is out there. Oh, we're sleeping on the inside. We're not sleeping on the outside. Right. So you're not going to get any cold drafts or anything through there. So it's just like I don't get to use the wardrobe and the hole's on the inside, not on the outside, and we can just do whatever we want. Oh, it's She's solid. stuffing... It's really solid. It needs and it's stone out there. Yeah, we can't just paint over that. Well, you can. Do you <laughs> we you... did, but... And then stick Brillo pads in a hole. You can't just band-aid this place. Oh, my good God. I just wash my hands. An order of French bread as an app. All right. Um, what is that there? A sports bar? Are these TV screens? What are those? Microwaves. microwaves. How many microwaves have you got? Well, there's four, four here and one in there, and that's five. There's five one microwaves. In there. There's one in there. And two chefs. Two chefs. Oh, my God. Everywhere I turn, there's just junk everywhere. Well, this is cooking stuff. Trust me, I know what cooking stuff is. This is not cooking stuff. <laughs> OK. How does this kitchen function? Give me a little tour. It's, it's very challenging. It's very, very challenging. What's that in there? That's a burger that I'm heating up. A boil? Yeah. You're boiling a burger? I'm just heating it back up. When you say heating it back up, why aren't you cooking it from fresh? We make them ahead of time. This is what we got here. We don't... A boiled burger? Are you aware the burgers are boiled? Um, no. Do you think a customer would want a burger boiled in water? They seem to like them. Just taste the water. Oh, do I have to? I would say <laughs> it's funny. Not. You won't taste it. Well, OK, well, I just... Tastes like water with beef in it. That seems OK. When they fix it up on a nice Kaiser roll with lettuce, tomato, oh, onion... Oh, come on. I need a tom, please. I need a set of tom. Ah, please. shit. No, this is a joke. Oh, this yeah. is terrible. A boiled Every burger. Day. I'm appalled to learn that the town's in boils pre-cooked burgers. Oh, Brenda, we well, just show me the table with the burger. And what's more frustrating is how Karen doesn't think there is anything wrong with that. Come with me two seconds. I'm quickly show you something. Perfect. Let me take, take that. Me? Absolutely. So that's your burger. Out of respect as a customer, yeah. uh, I'm not going to sit and watch you eat that shit. Let me show you. So, this is the chef? Yes. Can you just explain how you cook that? We pre-cook it. No, start from the top, please. I'm we, not going to let you eat that. We um, pre-cook them. You made the burger when? Um, gee, when were them burgers made? Yesterday, I believe. Yesterday. Just explain 
How you reheated them for the gentleman? I reheated them. I put I put water in there and I put the burger in there. Were you expecting a fresh burger or some yeah, shit no, reheated from yesterday? Fresh, yes. I will give you a fresh burger. My okay? apologies. Sir. Thank you. I'm sorry, sir. Okay, this ticket refused their food. Okay. Young man. Out of respect for our guests, take the ladies outside and show whether we keep the freezers. Can yes. Ladies and gentlemen, just bear with us for two minutes, but yes. we're just going to show you something I'd, I'd like done. you to see. Yes. So just follow me. This is just right down here. Watch your... Out here? Yes. Um, right here next to the trash, yes. Um, this, this is our lasagna. This is our trout. We got more sausage, ice cream. These are your egg rolls right there. So I just have frozen egg rolls from here. Yes. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We've got two freezers and everything's scattered. Very cluttered. I mean, Karen has always uh, looked at this as her home. Obviously, it is embarrassing, but it's a serious situation that needs to be solved. You okay? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's okay. But I think I, well, I just cancelled my order. My apologies. I discovered that today, and I, out of respect for you as customers, I can't sit here and fake you eating that shit. So I'm hoping that you can skip around the menu and order something a little bit more... Thank you. ...keeping. My apologies. Thank you. Thank you so much. Didn't you have purple glasses earlier? Yeah. They, they are. They Oh, that is so cool, because they look like they're dark brown or black. Oh, they had the yeah, That is so cool. This is insane. Yeah. Sarah claims to work at the Townsend. Here's a free postcard for everybody. When I go to serve tables, she'll randomly show up. We'll talk to tables. Um, I've seen her frustrate people. Sarah. Miss Sarah. Is someone calling me? I have to go. No, me. Fine. Yes, sir. They don't need to hear your life story. They want to sit and have a romantic drink on the terrace. Leave them alone. OK, I'm, I'm leaving you. In and out. There are okay. other tables. Man. OK. We're going to need a rotisserie chicken. That's the rotisserie chicken. You get it from the freezer. Yep. Disgusting. Displaying the rotisserie chicken, please. Show the table. Yeah. This is the dish of the day. It's our rotisserie chicken. It was roasted six months ago in a grocery store, and we're serving it for $12. On the menu, it's got rotisserie chicken. Yeah. You buy them at a grocery store. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you freeze them and you reheat them in the microwave. Not in the microwave. It went in the microwave. What is going on here? Well, we have a menu and we just do it. How, I mean, no, it's just pathetic. How many of your guests tonight think that their chicken's been roasted in house? Maybe half. Let's just let them come in and let's, mm -hmm. let's double check. Ladies and gentlemen, so sorry, I can just have your attention for 30 seconds. How many of you, if you're going to order the roast chicken this evening, would expect it to be fresh, roasted in-house? Could you raise your hands, please? I think it's everybody. A lot of people say it's, it's good. I no. agree that it no, should these, be... The, 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 these yeah. guests have come out of their homes to come yeah. and eat. What I'm not going to do is attempt to pull the wool over their eyes, because they deserve to know what's going on. The burgers were cooked yesterday, reheated in a pan, boiling them in water, and I'm flabbergasted. So you need to take a real good look at yourself and stop bullshitting customers immediately. Otherwise, I'm out of here. I'm so sorry, but you, as customers, deserve better. And this has nothing to do with the TV program. I, I promise you now, it's based on the bad practices that's going on in that kitchen. So my apologies, but I'm not going to allow you to eat. You're not going to act responsible for it. I will. We're shutting it down. We're shutting it down. You just sent everybody home. Stop. Stop. That is possibly the worst thing I've seen so far. How do you reheat that? In the microwave. In the microwave. It doesn't even hit an oven. But we used to cook them fresh, right? So what, what I changed? I wasn't here. Yeah, so what happened? Stop. I'm not serving it. Stop. What happened? Ask Karen. I ain't the one that bought the chickens. Uh, I have a rather have a rotisserie thing back here. I can have fresh chicken. We need but new equipment. This is what it's resulted in. Yeah. This is what we're serving. You can't buy this from a grocery store. No, you can't. Sprinkle it with pasta and expect to call yourselves a restaurant. I know what you I know what you're saying. And you just like a butterfly fly around just painting all little bits of shit over holes. This is insane. I'm done. I'm I'm upset. I'm I'm feeling sick and I've never seen such a disgusting mess in all my fucking life. It's embarrassment to you, 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 and me. 
and I'm not going to stand there and watch you surf ship like that and take customers' money. What is this? I eat them often, the rotisserie. You they... eat them often? Mm -hmm. What does that say? I guess it's just that I don't. What does that mean to you? You eat this crap often. Come on. You're running a hotel. The burgers were cooked yesterday. Well, when I ate them, and I always tell them they tasted good to me. Oh, God. So. Where's the burgers that you cooked? Down here, sir. Get them. I, my understanding is he pat in the mouth and then put them in the oven. How long for? Probably about 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes in an oven. How many of your customers expect burgers to be cooked like that? Baked in the oven for 20 minutes, so there's no colour on there, cooled down, stuck in a Ziploc bag, out, boiled in water. Should we go and do another survey? What's 80% Chuck? It's just you're a in hamburger. Denial. You are seriously in denial. Miss Sarah, would you like a bite? No, thank you. Why not? It's not cooked right. Well, should I boil it up for you and get it warm? What colour is that? It's white. That's what frustrates me. We're all pretending that this is good. I thought that's what the cooks... No. I mean... Come on. Not, I mean, I'm not trying to blame it on the cooks, you but... You can't blame it on me because ain't nobody hearing me. I'm amazed you're not shut down. Freezers lined up next to a dumpster. What lives outside in those passageways next to dumpsters? Bat, rats, and alley cats. Yeah, cat. bats, rats, and mice. You are in denial. You have a big problem. You've got no idea that this place is crumbling. And you're just going through the motions. Mr. Ramsey, my guests want to leave. Your guests want to leave? Yes. That's the best thing I've heard all day. Can I fucking join them? Bye. 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 Are we serving food at all? Should I let them Young leave? Man. And we're in danger of even being shut down by the health authorities. And there is no fucking way I'm going to stand there yes, sir. and watch this go. shit being yes. reheated and served. So sorry, we're not moving forward. I'm in Florida to help a struggling hotel on the beach. A young owner at the helm who has no control over his staff. What is that? Oh, boy. Why it's like that, I have no idea. <coughs> I'm faced with many challenging situations. It stinks in here. The place is filthy. Really bad. And I'm unsure if I can turn this place around. Your chef has shut down. I can't work like this. I want to go now. I want to get the fuck out of here. Midway between Orlando and Miami, on Florida's Atlantic coast, lies the small town of Fort Pierce, home to the beachfront inn and inlet. Owner Brian Paul opened it in 2012 after running his family's successful local fish market with his brother. My job before the inlet was the, the CEO, the head of my dad's fish market. My dad ran a business like a, uh, a real leader. He had so many friends pillar of the community. Everybody loved him, and uh, I always knew as a child I wanted to have my own place. I think Brian has a lot of schooling under his belt. I'm not exactly sure that he has any hotel experience. Brian, as an owner, is physically here sometimes. He's just, like, kind of wanders around. Brian is a little too easygoing. If it was me, I'd have my hands, nose, eyes, and ears in everything, and I don't see him doing that. Brian definitely has a lot of friends that work here, uh, some of which have taken advantage of him in the past. Um, I believe that Chef Ben probably has taken most advantage of him. I want a beer. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we're having a tasty beer tonight, boys. Yeah. Ben is a, uh, an awesome guy. I've known him forever. We've been friends forever. I give him plenty of space. I help him whatever he needs, but I don't muddle in his affairs down there. 
I think that the issue here has been our lack of consistency with our food, and, and I mean, that directly has to be attributed to the executive chef. You know, his name is Ben. I feel like the inlet and the beachfront both lack direction. We're trying to be too many things at once. A nightclub, a bar, a restaurant, a hotel, a wedding venue, a concert venue, a place to do your Christmas party at. I mean, ah. The military secret, we have some guests and employees hooting and hollering until the wee hours of the morning. And that's out of control, that's gotta stop. It's bad for business. Brian has to refund hotel guests money because of the noise complaints. I think this place has so much potential and so much to offer. We don't want to see it fail. We don't want to see Brian fail. He definitely needs to step up and help us all out to help him. He needs to grab those reins and start, start seeing the damage that's happening and uh, start fixing it. Today, I'm in the beautiful coastal town of Fort Pierce, Florida. Just looking around, you're surrounded by stunning beaches, marinas full of deep sea fishing boats. This place is gorgeous. Look at this place. It looks like the hotel's closed down. Hello. Anybody in? Welcome. Thank How you. How are you? I'm very well indeed, thank you. First name is? Liza. Good Liza. to meet you. Liza, good to see you. How are you doing today? Whose is this? The boss man caught it. And where's the other half gone? <laughs> Maybe they ate it. Belt, I don't know. Pair of shoes. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. It is a What'd little weird. What do you use it for? I don't use it for anything, actually. Wow. And what's that up there? That was here when I got here, believe it or not. That's for sale? Apparently so, yes. So he went onto the beach, picked uh -huh. up some driftwood, and then mm -hmm. dipped it in some varnish. Yep. Oof. <laughs> $22. Uh-huh. Stop. Same as that one over there. No. <laughs> Insane, no? <laughs> Have you sold any of these? No. Never? No. <laughs> Seriously. And how much for the T-shirts? Between $12 for employees and $18 for guests. So staff have to pay for their own T-shirts? Yes. And for the guests, they're $18? Yes. Wow. So when was the last time you sold a T-shirt? I sell them every day, but mostly to um, the employees. The employees? <laughs> yes. How long have you been here? The establishment's been here almost three years. I've been wow. here almost three years as well. What's wrong with it, from your um, point of view? Noise levels, you know, especially the one directly above the restaurant that... What kind of noise? Because it's not the... The music and the people, the foot traffic, wow. everybody hanging out at the bar and things wow. of that nature. So that goes on directly underneath? Yes. Mm -hmm. They end up being refunded, and then they end up putting us on blast on all of these, you know, websites and social media and just bad reviews left and right. Mm -hmm. Housekeeping, come back. What's that for? Touch base with the housekeepers. Wow, have a good word. Um, just out of interest, uh, it's Gordon here, I've just checked in. How far away are the fucking rooms? I mean, you sound like you're miles away. Hello, madam? <laughs> you scared her. So room 16. Yes, um, sir. And where is it, please, darling? I'm gonna direct you, right this way. What's that thing there? We grill our wings on it. You grill your wings on it? Yes. How often do you grill wings in there? Every stinking day. Wow. Jesus. In fact, I think there's a wing left in there. <laughs> when was that grilled? Chances are it could have been yesterday. Those are the extra crispy ones. <laughs> and who's responsible for this? The kitchen handles all of this end of it, of course. You found another charbroiled. And these were done yesterday? I believe so. And they cook every day on here? Yes. And are the customers still alive? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> right, room 16. Let's yes, go. sir. This is your Caribbean building. The Caribbean. Caribbean, Caribbean, yes. Um, uh huh. What These part the... of this resembles the Caribbean? I think it's more so because of the view. Oh, the view. Right here, sir. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Whew. Wow. It stinks in here. There's a very sort of damp, musty smell. Bloody hell. Oh, the bed feels like it's 15 years old. Oh, it smells. Curtains are terrible. Oof. The place is filthy. Really bad. Absolutely disgusting. $180 a night for this shit all. Oof. Wow, mini bar. 
consisting of absolutely fuck all. Freezer, over frozen and defrosted about 10 years ago. What a mess. I know when I'm coming to fix a business, they have various issues. But right now, with the information I have, I am not impressed with how Brian, as an owner, is operating this hotel. Hello. Hello, welcome to the inlet. So you must be Brian. I am, sir. The hotelier and the 34-year-old. I do it all. You do it all. Is that what you are, seriously, 34? Right. You know what? I'm 33. I work so hard, I think I just thought I was 34. You're 33. <laughs> me. Um, did you call this building the Caribbean? Yes. Have you ever been to the Caribbean? Yeah. Which part? Uh, the Bahamas. And this has been modeled on the Bahamas? Correct. Do you smoke when you're in the Bahamas? You know, like that. I've tried a couple times, surely. Okay. Stop. Yeah, yeah. That's... What hotel in the Caribbean or the Bahamas were you running before you bought this one? So I've just visited the Caribbean. I've never ran a hotel in the Caribbean. So you just go buy yourself a 25-bedroom hotel on the beach with a bar and... All I know how to do is run a fish market when I open this, and I've built it from the scratch, from the ground up. So the fish is fresh, obviously from the market. They're so fresh. Right. I better jump in. Can I show you to your table? Uh, yes, why not, yeah. <laughs> table for you right here. Excellent, thank you. May I? Uh, please. I'm excited for the fresh fish. It's so surreal, bro. Gordon Ramsay's in the dining room. What's with the name tags? I mean, you're the owner, right? I think I should lead by example, so I, I, I like to wear mine. That way, if I tell them that they need to wear them, then they can't say, well, Brian, you don't wear yours. Right. I'm starving. I'm going to get you some food I'm right starving. away. I'm going to get you a great server. OK, great. How are how you? How are you doing? Nice Good. to see you. Good. Likewise. My name is Kelly. Kelly, how long have you been here? Um, I've been here about a year. Nice. Mm -hmm. And um, why do the staff have to buy the T-shirts? Um, I don't. I was never told. Even our fur shirts, our name tags. You buy your name tag as well. Yeah. We have to pay like eight dollars. Never and seen then, that before. <laughs> eight dollars a name tag. Twelve dollars a T-shirt. That's twenty dollars before we come to fucking work. Wow. Mm -hmm. As I look at the menu, I notice it's absolutely massive. So, I decided to order the chicken wings, which honestly, I wasn't surprised when they were dry. Then I had the lobster mac and cheese, which technically isn't mac and cheese because they use penne pasta. But the worst part of my lunch was the tuna burger, which I knew wasn't quite right. Is that fresh? It is frozen. Oh, it's frozen? Yes. Hold on, you said fish market, fresh fish daily. Frozen fish, fresh fish, what's going on? We use frozen sometimes, sure. And you have a fish market that you buy from? Yeah, yep, yeah. Um, I'm confused. Ever since about four months ago, everything was fresh, everything. I ran up a little bit of a bill with my brother. So we cut back and started ordering some of the frozen stuff from some of the purveyors. And what's the feedback? We get some negative feedback. He hasn't had one nice thing to say. I know, it's a blow to the ego, but you knew it was going to be something. I think it was going to be everything. Um, explain this monstrosity. What in the fuck is going on here? This is our kiosk. Kiosk. An effort to have products for right. all sorts of people. So beach volleyballs, sales, volleyballs, uh, uh, bean bags, shirts, sick bags. How, how busy is this? How was it going? I honestly, uh, it doesn't do that good. How many beach towels have you sold? Not too many beach towels. All right. Show me one. All right. Be right uh, back. I'd love to see one, please. What a fucking disaster. We're on the beach and we don't have towels. What is wrong with this picture? How was lunch? OK. OK is not good enough. Ah, I thought we lost you. Thank you very much. Whenever you're ready to go to the beach. Whenever I'm ready to go to the beach. Wow. How many do you have in stock? One. Uh, <laughs> you got it. Oh. That's the one. OK, can you charge that to my room, please? Yes, I so will. So we're sold out now? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Cheese. At lunch, I was very disappointed that Brian falsely advertises fresh fish on his menu. I want to learn more about how involved he is as an owner during an evening at the beachfront. Checking in, Susan Addison. Can I go ahead and start you off with something to drink? Okay. 
Smoke him if you got him. OK, Ben. Hey, Chef. Uh, just give, give us a little quick run through how the uh, line works. Well, normally I run the pass in right. Expo. Chef, I'll take care of this. Boom, boom, boom. Use the pass through the saute guy and then the fry guy. Working with Ben, I can't really tell you what he does. Where's Brian? Don't know, Chef. And Brian would just avoid him instead of trying to get to the root of the problem. And I think that in itself is a problem. How long have you been here? Uh, since last December. Oh, wow. So you've been here a long time? Yeah. In your mind, what do you think the major problems are? Lack of consistency, lack, yeah. as a matter of fact, and lack of yeah. structure. Yeah, I saw that lunchtime. Yeah. I found out about the fish not being so fresh. How so... can you not sell fresh fish when you're on the beach? That's our motto, fresh fish. So how many of them do you think understand that we're selling frozen fish? They probably don't. No. Because I don't think the servers are telling no. them. <laughs> Meanwhile, the customers disappear. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Great update. Thank you. thank you. Brian, how many of these customers in tonight know that you're serving frozen food? You know, they don't really know how the uh, the market works, so probably none of them. They don't know how the market works. They, they, they don't understand. Sorry, that. how are you? Hey, how are you? Do you think we're going to be serving frozen food tonight or fresh fish? Fresh, fresh. fresh. Why fresh? Well, we're on the beach. Well, why don't you explain to them tonight that you changed things four months ago and we're not serving fresh fish anymore, we're serving frozen. Man up. So, uh, just a few months ago, we switched from some of our fresh products to some of our frozen seafood products. Well, why would you do that? They're quality products. They just aren't the best of quality that you would expect from, you know, the Pelican seafood market. They're quality frozen products. Yeah, it's, it's a cost thing, so. When I come out to somewhere like this, being on the beach... Of course. I would hope to have yeah. fresh fish. Where is this fucking freezer? It's around here. Uh, Where you keep it frozen? Right down here, Gordon. Let's have a look. So, this is the frozen bit here. What's that? Frozen avocado. Are we not in Florida? And you can't make fresh avocado? Dude, this is fucked. Where's the freezer? Main walking. Wow, wow, wow. When was the last time you were in here? I come in here once a week at least, and I kind of, you know, just kind of look around or whatever. What is this? Wow. Oh, man. Look at that. The water's gone slimy. And you come in here once a week? Yeah. What is that? Oh, boy. Fucking hell. What is that? Pina colada. Pina colada? Why it's like that, I have no idea. It's festered. It's, it's, it's off. It's bubbling. Oh, man. That's terrible. Fuck. Trash, please. <coughs> trash. <coughs> James, trash, please, now. Pina colada. Right down the drain. By the bucket load in the walk-in fridge. I mean, who in the hell operates like this? Gordon, this is Chef Ben's job. He's the executive chef. He's the executive chef. And you made him that executive chef, right? Sure I did. How'd you feel now? What's that? Tuna burger. That's from the burger? Yes, it is. Oh, my god. Seriously? Bacon. It's gone. It's, it's, it's off. Fresh produce on top of old produce. Moldy. And this one? Ribeye. Ribeye defrosting. Yeah. What is this? Those are the smoke grilled chicken wings before they go onto the char grill. Oh, my god. And what is in this one? You are kidding me. So underneath in that bucket is what? Cooked product. Cooked chicken. Mm -hmm. And on top of it is what? It's raw. Raw chicken on top of cooked chicken. I had them for lunch. I am at a fucking loss. Do you know the best way out of this is just to shut the place down? It's not an option for me. What's that in there, Ben? Those are marinated chicken wings. Yeah. To be smoked. Underneath, next box. Those are smoked. Rule number fucking one. Ben. I know. Chef, I didn't do it. You know, I turned my back for a minute, and this is the kind of shit that happens. I walked in, and it was bedlam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's telling me this is your fault. You've got no idea. I am at an absolute fucking loss. I can't work like this. This is huge. You now are running 
a restaurant cross-contaminated. Joey. Yes, Chef. Who's responsible for this? Um, we all are. The, the, the entire kitchen is, yeah. Rule number one. You can't put hot food in a fucking walk-in. It doesn't even go together. No, not at all. Nowhere near each other. I guarantee you when it was put in there after I marinated it, they weren't shuffled. I can give you 12 more issues in there that I've had. I mean, you are heading for a fucking massive disaster. I, I mean, who the hell put them on top of the, the other ones? Everybody in here knows better. I, if I Haven't knew, you trained I... everybody to know that? Yeah. I mean... All I'm getting right now is excuses. The kitchen needs direction from the chef, the staff need direction from the owner, and your buddies. Can someone come up with a fucking solution? I'm gonna go in 86 the wings. Sort it out quickly. Come on, guys. 86 wings. Someone put raw fucking chicken wings on top of cooking. It wasn't me, somebody else did it. 86 wings is the only thing I can do right now. What in the fuck is going on? I was baffled and amazed. The words out of Ben's mouth were, no, oh, I clean that cooler regularly every day. You want me to go in there and pull everything out, clean it? That is not your job to wipe the ass of an executive chef. I, I know that. There were weeks he wouldn't show up, but maybe three days a week. Why didn't Brian step up? Brian, he may be oblivious to some of this stuff. They've known each other since they were young guys, so, you know. This is crazy. Team. So Ben goes AWOL, Brian does nothing about it, the place starts falling apart. And then he just steps back in when he wants. Pretty much. Pretty much. But if this was your business, you wouldn't tolerate that. Yeah, I would have fired Ben a long time ago. I, I was all for firing Ben two months ago, so I mean. Uh... No excuse for that walk in like that, so. I'm sorry, I, I just couldn't hold back anymore. He doesn't go. He doesn't come to work. That's the reason why it looks like that, okay? That is absolutely the reason why. If he's here by 12 and he leaves by five, we're lucky. I'm just. I'm not. James is telling me the truth. I'm. 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 I'm here to tell you the truth. You're not telling me the I truth. I promise you, I'm going to tell you the truth. The only way to really, truly identify a chef before you even taste his food is to open up his walk-in. That speaks volumes for any chef. He's a chef that's given up and going through the motions. Sometimes I feel that way. We've been through a lot. I know he's got a lot on his plate. He's incompetent and he's taking your fucking business down. You know. I, I don't think he's incompetent. You're fucking mad. And the sad thing is that your staff and your management and your team see it, and you're the only person that doesn't know what's going on. And this is the way you want to run your business. Yeah. Oh, you do not need my help. What's up, party people? Wow. That's loud, that music. It is loud. Oh, man. How are you doing? Yeah, I just need a little piece of quiet. Oh, um, not you a good? Problem. That's crazy, no? Yes, it is. I mean, it's like the blind leading the blind in there because there's no discipline. That you know, I do know. Ben's checked out, Brian's never checked in, and uh, they're all blaming each other. Yeah, I do know there's no there's no discipline, there's no communication, no. there's none of it. No. What's the problem with him stepping up and dealing with issues? Maybe it has something to do with the fact that he, he's not fully um, experienced in certain no. de departments. No. Are they hosting concerts? Are they... Uh, is it a frat party hangout? Is it a college? I mean, how can they call themselves a hotel? That's that's the difference. That's the part that we need to try to separate, and I've been saying it for a while. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Good evening, Beach Front Inn. Liza speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Liza. We're in room 20, and um, there's a lot of dust, and it smells like smoke, and uh, my my friend here, Gloria, is having a really bad reaction. She had to take steroids, and it's supposed to be a non-smoking room. I'll be right with you. <laughs> Brian, there's two guests have checked in upstairs. OK. Uh, she's, uh, she's got an issue with an allergy because the room stinks of smoke. It'd be nice if you just come up and see them or try and calm the situation down. So the lady's got an allergy and she's already had to take a steroid. And her eyes are streaming and she's not very happy. OK. Hello. 
Hello. So, are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. You sure? Any issues? Oh. Water all over the floor? <laughs> Sorry? We had water all over the floor? Water all over the floor? The what? refrigerator. There's water on the floor. Oh, the no, room. really? I yeah. just cleaned it up with a okay. towel, yeah. You still I see something. I'm mine. sorry. Damn. I walked in, it, it, was, it was completely all the way to the bed. Wow. Let's, uh, uh, let's, let's come back. Let's go and just, I want to see that lady. Well, the ladies, her eyes are streaming. Do excuse us. Oh. Ladies? Yeah. Are you decent? Sorry, I've got the owner here. Oh, really? That smell is? There's yeah. all dust inside. Oh, shit. There you go. It's just my eyes are tearing. When was that cleaned last? That's a, uh, that's really a daily thing that, um... Daily? It should be, sure, yeah, absolutely. That is not daily. Uh... Look at that. That's why. Ooh. Jesus Christ almighty. No wonder the poor lady's broken out. It's like the back of my throat is all scratchy. Is there an alternative room we can use for the ladies? I'll double check right away. Have a drink downstairs, a little bite to eat, but we can sort something out. OK. <sighs> what a night. The big problem here is that there's no direction for the hotel, for the restaurant, for the gazebo, not even for the car park. Ben is like a headless chicken that's checked out, and Brian's like this scared school kid that is not qualified to run a fucking beach bar, let alone a hotel on a beach. So, <sighs> this is bad. This is really grim. Brian. Am I wrong? I feel like we blew it tonight. No, oh, man, it's just, it's just what it is, you know? We don't, uh, don't worry about it. Oh, for God's sake. After a very frustrating night, I woke up this morning hopeful that Brian would be eager to admit his faults at the beachfront. But that wasn't the case. Even after a staff meeting, none of the problems are sinking in with Brian. So I reached out to his brother, Eric, who is continuing to fund the business, and I'm hoping Brian can start to see the damage he has done. Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for coming in. Why is Ramsey here? Your brother just asked you a question. Why did you call me here? I've got uh, a lot of issues that uh, I need to take care of. You don't look like a man that's in pain. You don't look like a man that's struggling. You don't look like a man that's lost control. You look like you're bouncing around, having fun. The business is hurting. You're hurting your brother's business, and you're not realizing it. It does re reach a ceiling where, where Brian, you're going to have to get cut off. I will, I'll respect it, but you got to let me know how much time, and I'll, 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 I'll make it. I'll make it. Two more months, but then that's it. Two months. Here's my promise. I will focus so hard, and I will be able to pay you in eight weeks. I'll pay you in eight weeks. I'll pay you in eight weeks. 30 grand. You gotta, you, 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 you gotta give me, you gotta give me 90 days. I mean, you gotta give me 90 days. He's just given you eight weeks. You've just asked for 12 weeks. Correct. You can't continue depending on your little brother's cash to float your dreams. I just need you to make sure not to screw this one up again. I'm not going to screw it up. I'm not convinced. I'm... No, 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 no. You're lucky he's your fucking brother. Eric. I got you. Eight months. Eight weeks. Eight weeks are cut off. That's all there is to it, man. How important is your reputation to you? That's the most important thing in my world. And on a scale of one to ten, your reputation in this town now. I gave myself a good a good eight. A good eight. A good, good a strong eight. eight. Absolutely. So these are customers that have gone out their way to spend their hard-earned cash supporting your business. You must recognize a few of these faces. Absolutely, I do. Let's start off with the lady in the blue shirt. You know her very well. Hey, play. Hi, Brian. How do you know 
each other? Uh, I'm Market Brian. You're a spokesperson for that business? Yes. Can you be honest with this one? Yes, I can. The service is very bad. I've brought people here. I've been up at the bar myself trying to order even just a water. That's been tough. Did you not listen to the advice in terms of sloppy service? I, I absolutely, I, I listen, I do listen, I do listen, I do listen. Do you offload that to your team? No, I don't, I don't. So that's why it's not dealt with. Sir, your experience? We ordered a chicken sandwich. When the chicken sandwich came out, it was raw. It was raw and it was mushy in the middle. I could have got sick from that. And I love your bar because I can come here late night and I can get free drinks. Two for me and two for my buddy and pay for one, we got five. Wow. Unbelievable. Sir? My first experience here was a Super Bowl party that you advertised and uh, actually had some out-of-town guests. Food was very mediocre. The crab cakes were like sawdust. They were horrible that night. After the game was over, a couple of rowdy fans started a little brawl. Uh, we had drinks thrown on us. Wow. The other thing I'd like to say is, if I'm staying on the ocean, I love to fall asleep with the window open and hear the ocean. You can't do that here. You hear music all night long. I honestly stayed here myself once. I tried to call down because um, our sheets were dirty. You couldn't even call, like nobody answered. And literally, I think the biggest problem for me is the mixed message. It's like, are you a bar or are you a restaurant? Because we're paying $150 for dinner. However, there's people walking in in bikinis, drunk. Damn. Listen, this feedback has been crucial. Anything you'd like to say? Thank you, guys. You guys rock, man. Yeah, man Thank you. I'm telling you, make you proud, I promise All right. you. Let's, try <laughs> Let's go. It's not a time for high-fiving. I'm fucking embarrassed. What the fuck are you hugging them sure. for? I know that they care. I do know they care. A raw chicken sandwich. But that's not an eight. That is not an eight out of ten. And do you think they're set up? Do you think this is a TV show and we're just going to spout off? These people aren't exaggerating. They're real. They're real customers. You're turning into a laughing stock. Yeah, no, it's not good. The jury's out with me. I've never come this far and still sat on the fence in an undecided way. But fucking listen up and listen carefully. The partying, the free-for-all, I'm paying for one drink, they're giving me five in front of your eyes. Tomorrow, you turn up here looking like an owner. Understood. You got a lot on your plate, but get your head out the fucking clouds and get real. Fuck off. I've got this, Gordon. I'll yeah. show you. Even though I wasn't won over by Brian's commitment, I went ahead and designed a new concept for the beachfront. My team and I completely overhauled the rooms and added a beach club to the unused outdoor space. I'm really hoping Brian can see the potential he has to offer. Good morning. Good morning. Well, I wish it was a good morning. What did I ask you to come into work today? What did I say? What was the one thing I said to you? Come in as a... Boss. A boss. Right now, you look like a towel boy. I mean, sunglasses around your neck, badge on there, shorts on there. Who are you? Give me the name badge. Stand out from the crowd. You're the owner. I've had a really rough night, and so has my team. Get out of here, get changed, and come back like an owner. Now, fuck off. Ready. <clears throat> Honestly. Gordon. Hurry up. No, 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 no. I'm not listening. Gordon, I'm coming back like a boss. I'm ready to make this whole Fort get... Pierce community prep. Gordon. Get out of here. Seatbelt on. No doors and no seat valve. Oh, my God. I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be ready. Brian returned looking like an owner, and I'm hoping that translates into his role as a boss. Let's go. 
Jerry, quick step, let's wow. go. It's time to reveal to Brian and his staff the newly renovated beachfront inn and nice. inlet. Oh my God! Oh, wow! Man. This is what I envisioned. Wow! Wow! Oh, wow! Wow! First of all, this is not the Lovely. spring break Lovely. hangout that's gone wrong. This is a proper beachfront room. Sweet. <sighs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the inlet. Oh, oh, my God. Whoa, the floor. I love it. It's, it's perfect. But you've got a tangible asset here that can help lift this business and, more importantly, start making money. Awesome. Brian, you need to get a grip of this business and you need to realise, you know, what's at stake here. I need to be convinced. I need to see you stepping up as a boss. Ben and Joey, we're relaunching that restaurant tonight. So. I'm going to go through with that menu, jump downstairs, get organized, and start finding your way. Let's go. Oh, oh man. After observing dinner service, I saw the beachfront kitchen wasn't set up to handle such a massive menu. So I redesigned a smaller menu that is easy for Ben to execute. OK, guys, small menu. Let's run from the top. Appetizers, lobster mac and cheese done with the correct pasta, Ben. Steamed clams, again, great sharing for the table wings off the smoker, so it stays nice and crisp. And a chicken cob salad. Entrees, pan-seared scallops. Easy, three sears, ahi tuna, fresh. And then, of course, the mahi-mahi. It's small, it's inviting. And tonight, I've just been told that we've got the mayor in for dinner. There's one person we can reach out to to send the message back in the community. This is it. Dig in. Mm -hmm. That sauce is fabulous. Oh, my god. Wow. It's time to relaunch the beachfront. I've put a plan in place, and I'm really hoping Brian can finally show me that he's ready to run his business. All right, everybody, listen up. Tonight is a big service. There's not many opportunities like this. You have to take advantage of it. I need you guys all to get together right now and bring it in. One, two, three, go! go in there! Brian, Brian, let's just get real for a couple of seconds, yep. yeah? Yes, sir. You forgot the fucking most important thing tonight. Who is in for dinner tonight? You haven't even told the staff. Possibly the most important person in this town. We have the mayor in tonight, you guys. The mayor. And that's just not something that happens every fucking week. You have to bring it together tonight. You have to work as a team. Sort it out, guys. We're opening in five minutes. Come on. Checking in. Yes. All right. Welcome to the inlet. Good evening. Good evening. This is lovely. Um, enjoy dinner. An amazing array of appetizers, and the entrees are to die for. Tortoise in the hair, slow and steady wins the race. So first ticket on, yes? Yeah. Good. Hi, how are you? Welcome Hi, guys. Just the two of us tonight? You. It's the mayor. OK. Yeah. It's the mayor. Now, where are you sitting at? Well, they were gonna. They were gonna. Well, give her a choice. We'd like to sit inside or outside. It's her choice. Welcome. How are you? Thank you, Thank you for coming in. So nice to Thank see Thank you, guys. You. Likewise. Um, Thank it's you. an absolute pleasure. I'll leave you Thank in you. hands of our manager, owner, Brian. Follow me, guys. Thank Welcome. You very much. Thank John, you. good to see you, sir. Likewise. Okay, guys. All right, Mayor. Wherever you'd like inside. I got a chicken burger ready at your leisure. Chicken burger. Ben. As Brian told you, the mayor's in. No, no, no he has no. not. Unreal. Brian, your chef doesn't even know the mayor's in. Ah. You don't think he deserves to know? Come yes, on. he does. Come on, man. Ben? Yeah, yeah. Yes. The mayor's in at table seven. Heard table seven. Inside. Am I good, Ben? I've got that black and chicken for you. And that's it. Ben, you need to be the captain. And right now, I'm not convinced. Let's get serious about this business and do this. Is the mayor's order in? Have they sent their appetizers yet? Yes, it is. Have they, have, yes, they, have they hit the table? No, I put their food in. He wanted the salad and the fried calamari, and she wanted the uh, mahi. Mahi, OK, great. So again, check it. That's your hot ticket tonight. But do you know what's happening in your kitchen at the moment? No, look at me. Do you know what's happening in there? Absolutely. You haven't got a fucking clue. Yeah, get into the kitchen, find out what's going on. Let's go. Behind you. Ow, that burnt my forehead. Oh, man. Excuse me. So what did you guys order? Um, I got the mahi-mahi and a salad, and he got an appetizer. The mayor is the only person sat with nothing in front of her. 
Again. Please. All right, two tunas. Can I have a table of 15's appetizers ASAP? It's the mayor. 15? 15. I was told seven. Fucking hell. Sorry, miscommunication. I sat on 15, right? I made a mistake. It's 15. Okay, I need two house salads right now before anything else. Right in a second. Brian didn't know what table the mayor was at. It seems like the biggest thing Brian changed was his wardrobe. Two house are in the window. Two house need to go. 15. Have you seen the salads? No. Fred, yes, sir. you need to see that. You need to taste that and see everything he's doing there. Terry, that's too much dressing, bro. Redo it. Salad's overdressed, soggy as shit, wrong dressing. Ben. Yes, sir. What I need to hear is a bit of a voice. If we go silent, we'll go down. For tonight's relaunch of the beachfront. Salad's overdressed, soggy as shit, wrong dressing. I was really hoping Brian would step up as an owner, given that I put everything in place for him to succeed. God damn it, dude. But his lack of focus has me really worried that he's not fit to run this place. Come on, Brian. Come, Come on. Ben, bye. Oh, Come here. Come here, let's go. Your chef has shut down. I didn't realize it. You didn't realize. So the first two salads for the mayor had the wrong dressing on and were overdressed. I said, if you taste them, he said no. So he hasn't got your back. When's that penny going to drop that you're going to turn the corner? Uh, we'll watch Ben. If he doesn't come out of it, we'll switch him and Joey. Will you? How many guacamoles you guys got out there? Okay. Okay. Chicken, 30 seconds. Give me time on the mayor's table, please, Ben. Table 15? Yeah, the mayor's table. We sold it. Calamari and uh, mahi. Did you see it before it went? I sure did. I played it everything. The mayor hasn't got a fucking food. Brian, Brian, urgently, come here. So Ben's told me the fucking mayor's got their food. Right. And look at the mayor's table. Uh, There's nothing on there. Now look at me, look, look now, hey, we're about to go down. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm gonna get in my fucking car and I'm gonna get the fuck out of here if you don't get a grip. Because this is a fucking joke. Now you better get in there and tell your executive chef, Ben, that the mayor hasn't got their food and find out where the fuck it is. Ben, the mayor's not gotten her food. I put it in the window. Where? Where is the I'll make it right food? now. I'll make it right now. Be nice to have some food right about Let's try the mayor's food again. Jerry, I need a Caesar now. It's coming right now, Gina. Order up. Where's that going? 51. 51. Come here, you. What is that? Undercooked. That is undercooked. Uh, young lady, come here. What does that chicken look like to you? It looks black and dry. Thank you. So it's dry. Um, young lady, how would you describe that chicken? Uh, it looks kind of dry. Very dry. Very dry. Uh, you're not even a chef, are you? Mm -hmm. No. Never no. cooked. How old are you? I'm 20. 20. Thanks, Stella. Mm -hmm. So from a 20-year-old server who's never cooked, even she spotting it is dry. And you're saying it's raw. Let me tell you something, and listen carefully. I'm going. I'm packing my bags, because that is the worst thing we've sent all week. It's overcooked and it's dry. And then you, you tell me it's raw. Good night. I'm done. Is unreal. I mean, I'm so pissed off. I can't give that guy any more advice. I can't continue to tell him to step up and make decisions. He has a chef in there that's just riding him and riding the business. And when you're weak, you've got no chance of running a business. And what a shame. Un fucking real. I never liked to leave a business, but Brian simply wasn't listening. He missed the deadline paying his brother back, and while it's been a slow process, my advice finally started to sink in. Four months after I left, he made a decision to let Chef Ben go. 
and hired a brand new kitchen staff. On the hotel side, Brian has made the guests a priority, given the curfew to the nighttime entertainment. Hopefully now, with Brian stepping up like a boss, he can lead the beachfront in the right direction. I travel to Harpers Ferry, West Virginia, a small, beautiful town outside of Washington, DC. That is where I met Karen Townsend. Good morning, welcome. Nice to see I'm you. Karen Townsend. Karen, good to see you. A woman who has a wacky way of running a hotel, which is also her home. Let me tell you, I never expected to see the things I saw. Oh, shit. Wow, a bit dusty. Do you sell these? We do. A convenience store, complete with hideous dolls in the dining room. What is that? Oh, these are my famous baskets. There were baskets everywhere, including ones with bugs in them that were even up for sale. Yep, oh. that's private. I found her clothes locked up in a wardrobe in my room. It's like garments from the Civil War. The thing with Karen is, the person she trusts the most spends her time painting murals over destroyed walls and disturbing customers, and she's not even an employee. Didn't you have purple glasses earlier? Leave them alone. Okay. What is she doing to your hotel? It doesn't then... go outside. I mean, it's not a hole to the outside. You can't just band-aid this place. Karen was so confused to why any of this was a problem, including the food. That's a disaster. Disaster trout. Which was dreadful. It looks like a soup. It was in the fridge, and then they microwaved it. From the fridge to the microwave. Everything was frozen. You're just hoarding stuff, Karen. This is how much we need. We keep running out of stuff. And the kitchen was a disaster area. Are these TV screens? What are those? Microwaves. Oh, my God. Everywhere I turn, there's just junk everywhere. No organization whatsoever. You're boiling a burger. Why aren't you cooking it from fresh? We make them ahead of time. After learning the burgers were boiled, I honestly thought it couldn't get any worse. That's the rotisserie chicken. You get it from the freezer. Disgusting. But then I saw the frozen store-bought chicken that was being microwaved. That is the worst thing I've seen so far. I'm done. And I had to stop the madness. I'm so sorry, but you, as customers, deserve better. You're not going to act responsible for it. I will. We're shutting it down. As my journey continues at the Towns Inn, the staff has finally had enough. Gordon, this is the worst restaurant I ever worked in in my life. I need Karen to start opening her eyes because my time is running out to help her. You don't even think there's a problem. That's what worries me. The practices are so bad. I'm just so fucking up. You have to take responsibility. I'll do what I can do. Look at this shit. Look at this. You gotta tell me that this is a good chicken. I've eaten it, like I said, yeah. This is crazy. You can't not go to the store and buy stuff and resell it. Can not Aren't you aware of what you're doing? Do you actually care? Yes. You I do, do care. Which part of this hotel do you care? Every part. This is how delusional you are. That this is a good chicken. What's in this one here? Stuff that we Microwave? Yes, yes. What's that? Eggplant. So everything's just reheated in the microwave? Yes. Yes. We're in danger of being shut down by the health authorities. I'm sorry, folks. Basically, I take responsibility. I'm sorry. I'm very ashamed and... I am fed up from not being heard. It doesn't matter what I say. Karen is going to do what she want to do. What's going on? Cord, I'm just, I don't have no help, man. I told her she won't listen. Perform like this. I can't. I, I can only. I can't. You can't. I you can't. Just, it's, it's, you're gonna get fucking arrested. I, I won't get arrested. Put in jail for killing some damn body. I, Gordon, this is the worst restaurant I ever worked in in my life. Practices are the problem. Right. The sort of, the way that everyone's walking around in denial. They are, but I'm there's not. No, but there's no standards though. You're not maintaining a level that they yeah. deserve. Yeah, I know that. 
I know that show. So why have you become like a zombie and following her motions? I'm not. I was, I'm trying to fix it. Have you it. given up? No, I have not given up. I have not given up. You're just as bad as she is if you don't put your foot down and say no. I tell her no, 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 and she keeps on doing it. Someone needs to draw a line. I have drawn a line. It doesn't matter. I can only do so much, Gordon. This is not my place. Uh, my apologies, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so sorry. Sorry. What a joke. Have you seen any of this stuff going on here? Do you have any idea what's going on? What's this? Pre-cooked bacon. Pre-cooked from when? It's dated. They, they do but it every day, just about. Right? No, they don't. When was that cooked? That's not today. If they did, honestly, let's see what it says. 10.31. We're in November the 6th now. This is insane. Look at that in there. Don't you drain that, or...? It just sits there in his blood. And in here? That's a freezer. God damn it. What is that? What's that noise? That's the fan. What a nightmare. <sighs> now, Karen, you've got no idea that this is going on like this? What is that in there? That's dishwater. No, there's french fries in there. Fries? Why is the water so dirty? Nobody didn't change it. Sorry? Nobody didn't change it, sir. But you're cooking fries from there tonight, in that water. I saw them fill up the fryer twice. It sucks. Where'd you get the ham from? She bought it at the store. Holy crap. It's a spiral cut. They cut it and put it in here. And then uh, use it for side of hand for breakfast. When was the last time this was clean? Uh, last year when I cleaned this, Chef. Last year when we cleaned the oven. We're in November. Last year. Yes, sir. I asked Karen, I said, Karen, we need to shut down so we, 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 gotta, we gotta do maintenance. Look at the mess. Why have you let it go like this? I didn't know that they were doing things that were not Karen, that proper. You... No, but let, listen to me, Jeff. This is the bullshit, the guy. Okay, let's tell him the truth here. Okay, I asked for some new equipment. I can't get no new equipment. Why not? I've been here for four years. I've been asking for new equipment. I can't work with this shit here. Look, look at that. I'm fucking pissed. I've been asking for this. I asked for new equipment. How long do you think this shit's gonna last? It ain't gonna last forever. I'm just so fucking fed up with every damn thing. I can't get no help. Me and Jill pulled you out of this. And now I asked for some help for some equipment that you can't spend on it, but... But right. this is working, you and that's auctions. working. Look at this shit. Look at this. <laughs> Part of the damn line. I'm just so fucking fed up with every damn thing. Look at this shit. Look at this. Part of the damn line. You can't expect to work in this. Are you greedy with the money? I'm in debt. I'm barely breaking even. Let's get real. They're at their wits' end. They're done. They're finished, and they're a spent force. I've been cooking for 20 years, and I never had this problem. We have to step up. I mean, look at the kitchen. It's atrocious. Look at this here. Would you work in this? I do. <laughs> um, it's so funny with you. No, it's not funny. I do but I laugh. Look at the mess. Can't do it all. You own this place. But I delegated the restaurant to them. But and Karen, then... the bottom line is you have no idea how to yeah. run a restaurant, and all you're doing now is blaming the staff you put no, in there. No, no, I'm just... No, but they're taking yeah. the heat, yeah. and I, your I... problems aren't their problems, but they become yeah. their problems because look at the mess. Well, you don't even that's... think there's a problem. That's there what worries me. Practices are so bad. That's what I try to say. 
Why has it got this bad? You have to take responsibility. You're ignorant, oblivious and delusional. I'll do what I can do. It's not good enough. I'm going to my room. Excuse me. I've seen enough shit for one night. Oh, man. Fucking hell. Thank God somebody else sees it other than us. This is what we deal with on every day. It's nothing different. I lost different. my damn hat. It's in there. I'll find it. I know where you threw it. You know, we could have done this without Ramsey. I mean, no. anybody can. No, not with her. Not Jeff, with her. I don't have. I, what do I spend on myself? Now, I'm doing the best I can. I borrowed money and went out and bought more refrigerators. Then, oh, we need freezers. I know I care. I know I care. Why, So don't. Why didn't we just tone down the menu? The menu is what you all do. You could have told me that these are the things we I need to do and this is why. I will tell you, Jeff, I have no stake in that menu. I thought that's what you and Jill wanted. No, that's not well, it. I wanted just to have tone to agree down. To disagree me, then. And Jeff, until you get your way. You work hard. I agree. No, I'm just saying. But over the year, you have averaged 44 hours a week. No, that's, I'm not, I'm not and you're paid for a manager. That. No, no, I'm that's just not saying. That many hours. No, Karen, no, I'm not even talking about that. Jeff. Yeah, but that, that's. I'm listening, Jeff. You're not hearing me, Karen. What a mess. I mean, one of the worst dates of a kitchen hotel in I've ever seen in my entire career. Also, a owner that is delusional, and she's convinced herself that the place is run properly. And, you know, I'm really uneasy about just being in here. The smell is appalling. Everything feels dirty and just... And I'm not convinced that even the bathrooms are that clean. I'm run a quick test. Quick bacteria test. There's a communal bathroom that I am uncertain about. When this thing reads 30, it indicates that it's a sort of um, a, a decent level of hygiene. Basically, it's clean. Anything over 30, then it gets into the danger zone. <sighs> this is where the smell is really bad in here. There's crap everywhere. It's just so unhygienic. Undo that. I just want to. Doesn't feel clean. To get a good reading, rub the swap underneath the mat. The smell under here is appalling. In these crevices, there's dirt. That's gross. That is gross. That is disgusting. Snap it, let the liquid go down. Give that a shake. In. Holy crap. No, no. I'm unconvinced that this place is clean. Everything smells. It's very difficult for you to identify the smell, but in here, it really stinks. So, just. It's just a smell from here, stains everywhere. And what scares me is the fact that the kitchen took a year to get cleaned. God knows what this tub so pretty gross. Now, pop that in there. I'm not sure when this place was cleaned properly. In. Oh my God. Karen. Karen in here. Karen, just come upstairs, please. Two seconds. Please, let's go. Quick. Come in. I've just done a swab test with the carpet. I told her the smell is gross. Anything above 30, you're in the danger zone for unhygienic practices. And it's not fit for customers. What do you think the reading is? 100. 100. 50? 50. 60? 70. 70. 803. 803. Oh, my God. Oops. 803. Oops. Burn it That's not an oops. That's a, oh, no. 803. <laughs> wow. This is just the carpet. You can't be that bad. We get a lot of bikers, bicyclists Karen, and hikers. You're paying $130 get out of bed and step on a disgusting, stinking carpet. It smells like there's crap all over the floor. Probably because there's crap on the floor. Probably. Could be. 
What does that mean, could be? My first shift here, you were in the bathroom, and I think you had an accident on the floor, on the mat. Why? Oh, my God. I mean, yeah. There have been times when I have had diarrhea, but it doesn't happen very often. But, um, no, I, I didn't realize that there was that problem. Fucking hell. All day, both of you have been in denial. Not one of you told me about the problems. Not one of you taken any form of responsibility. You were happy to serve that food to me lunchtime. You were happy to mosey around and piss around on the walls and paint silly pictures. This is a travesty. This is shocking. Your staff knows it, but you two are oblivious. But the rest of the room is dusted and clean. It is. What? It's not, he's, not focused, he's not talking about the room. It's not about the rug. It's not about the food. It's about the whole picture. Look at the mm -hmm. cage. You're yelling. Am I not allowed to yell, Sarah? Because someone has to, because you're not. He's trying here to help us. Stop being in denial. It's not about the rug and this perfectly dusted thing that this is not gonna make a difference. The whole picture, the whole thing. What are you scared of, Karen, admitting? Well, I'm working 16 hours but, a day yeah, and spending every time and money. These are rooms, too, that I get positive yes. feedback about. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm serious. A lot of positive, there you go again. No, you can't be that, no. No, I, no, I, I, I want to these things. I am not sleeping in this dump. I'm done. I'm out of here. Oh, man. You can't leave. I'm not staying in here. Ramsey, don't go. Karen, this is a travesty that you're paying $130 to get out of bed and step on a disgusting, stinking carpet. You're in the danger zone for unhygienic practices and it's not fit for customers. We get a lot of bikers, bicyclists Karen. and hikers. What are you scared of, Karen, admitting? Well, I'm working 16 hours but, a day yeah, and but that's spending your excuse. every you time fall back on that. These are rooms, too, that I get positive yes. feedback about. Oh, my God. I'm, I'm serious. A lot of positive. There you go again. No, you can't be that. D no. No, I, and no, I, I, I want to fix things. I am not sleeping in this dump. I'm done. I'm out of here. Oh, man. You can't leave. Ramsey, don't go. I'm not staying in here. Is this your office in here? That's my living quarters in my office, You yeah. what? I live there. You live in here? Yeah. What? Let me show you. What? I saw the office sign on the door, but you live in here? Right here. This is my bed. I just uh, sleep here. Like this. Are you kidding me? Every night you sleep in here? Yes. Is there a mattress there? No, it's just quilts, cover on them, sheets. You sleep on a board? Mm-hmm. In the winter, I could go upstairs, but I choose not to. I choose to stay here. And which bathroom do you use and shower and I use the ones upstairs. Mm-hmm. What's the room next door there? Oh, that's the beverage area. And then beyond that's the kitchen. The beverage area? Mm hmm The keg is right on... The kegerator is right on the other side there. And then that's the beverage that's cooler the... right oh there. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. So I, I sort of sleep in the kitchen. This is crazy. I love it here. There's no place in the world I would rather be. You are not doing one thing right. You have lost it completely. And you've convinced yourself, in amongst the chaotic mess that you live in, that it's all right. It's not. It's absurd. This is no way for a lady to sleep and live and eat. You shouldn't be living in a kitchen. There's not even a fan or an air-conditioned room. And it's it's a tiny cubby hole yeah. cluttered with your junk. Are you OK? I think so. I mean... This is not normal. What's normal in... What's normal? Seriously. I can't even start to think about helping you when you're in such denial. Mm. What the fuck?
The next morning, I woke up not wanting to give up on the town's inn, seeing how bad the kitchen was and learning that it wasn't clean for over a year. I hired a professional cleaning crew to not only declutter, but to scrub down the kitchen as well. Crap everywhere. Good morning. Uh, morning. Not about being good. Um, well, could be better, could be worse. Yes. So were you, were you sleeping? Uh, I was, I've got a headache. I don't You've know why. Again, <laughs> I've had a headache since I've arrived. Uh, I'm still unconvinced where I'm going with you and this business. However, I want you to do something. All right. Something that you haven't done properly in a long time. And take that. Yes. And start packing. Ah. Uh, where I'm am not, I going to go? I'm not messing around. I haven't got time to mess around. OK, but we're... Don't worry about that. I just want you to start packing All up. All right. Quickly. I've got enough boxes. I'm um, moving fast. You know how fast. important this is, yeah? I do. No, I'm... Time is of the essence. I need you to start packing. And I'm... I'm sorry. Start packing quickly. I'm worried about Karen not listening to me, and I don't think she realises just how bad the business really is. I reached out to her son, Jason, the majority owner of the inn, who has the most to lose if Karen fails to turn it around. Jason, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Yourself? Yeah, very well, thank you. Jason Townsend, yeah, nice likewise. to meet you. Okay, take a seat. Uh, first of all, what a beautiful place. Yeah, I mean, it really is. Gorgeous. Yeah. I've fallen in love with this area, uh, beyond belief. Um, unfortunately, Sorry. I haven't fallen in love with the inn. I'm shocked at the setup and what's happening to your mum currently. Yeah. Do you have any idea how bad it is? I think I have a sense, but obviously I'm not here on a daily, regular basis, so I yeah. don't appreciate the in and outs of it. She's in denial. I'm trying to explain things to her uh, in a very calm way, and she's just refusing point blank to understand the logic. I think her, her vision has been both her blessing and her curse in the sense of it's what's allowed her to drive through this and persevere, but it's also what puts her in denial. Have you seen where she sleeps? Yeah. Does that make you feel happy? Not at all, not at all. I mean, we bought this with two main motivations, to let her develop this end business, but also have it as grandma's house, and it's not. We went into this looking at it as, as obviously we want it to be some type of investment, but we didn't have a particular game plan beyond just rent out the space to mom, and we want to see it do well, not just to make money, but so that she really can have a life here. And it's just been triage since day one. That's no way to live. No. Has this become a burden on your family now? Or yes, it yeah, has. It's because we're concerned for, for her. Uh, it, it, it's a financial burden. This lady wasn't your mother, and she was renting from your property. You'd be a lot more severe in the way that place has been handled. We all bought this in part with, uh, with our hearts and not just our heads. And it's, it's that balance between wanting to respect her desires to, to, to make this business what she wants it to be, but also realize that if it's not gonna be a, a profitable business and if there's gonna be a cost, not just financially, but physically and emotionally, we need, a, we need to shut it down. Now, this is your mum. You know, this is not a cousin or a niece or a nephew. This is your mum, so um, she needs to hear that. It's affecting you personally, financially. It could drag your family down. You're not her safety net. Yeah. I need you to have a word with her and how we're not prepared to move forward unless she's going to commit to change. I'm talking long-term change. Mm -hmm. She needs help, yeah. and she needs help urgently. I think I overloaded this one. After spending time this morning with Karen's son, we both agree, in order for the business to succeed, he needs to confront his mum that a major change needs to happen. Well, Karen, um, first of all, um, I spent this morning catching up with Jason. Oh, OK, good. And just trying to get him up to speed with what I've been discovering. Mm -hmm. You know I'm not happy. And I think deep down inside that you can't be happy in this current existence. So I want you to listen to Jason. 
As you know, we've been talking a lot about what's going on here, why we're here, mm -hmm. what we want with the business. Mm -hmm. You're my mom, but you're also my, my tenant. And so I have two main goals and objectives with this place. And uh, one is, is a financial one mm -hmm. uh, for your sake, for my sake, for our family's sake. And then my second objective is to um, encourage and support you and your life. You're not just an innkeeper, you're my mom, you're, you're a grandma. And for us to enjoy all those things, we have to, I think, make some changes here. It's not sustainable financially, emotionally, and, and, and physically. I just don't see the business in such a negative light as you do. I, I look out my but window. you realize most people I, do, yeah. I, I look out my window, and there's the Potomac River and the train station. You can't see out the window, my darling. Oh, I can't. Above it. Okay. But even even the bags of clothes yesterday, and mm -hmm. now the boxes of clutter. People don't live like this. You, you, you have to get out of there, and you have to start living your life completely different to what you've been doing. I'm not here for three months, Karen. I'm here for a short time mm -hmm. to give you everything I've got to get this place fixed. And if you can't listen to Jason, and you're not prepared to listen to me. I'm not asking you any we're, longer. We're all working for the same goal here. Yeah, yeah. I'm listening. I, I, I'm mm -hmm. telling you, it needs to stop. For your sake, for my sake, for our family's sake, I can't keep renting the house out to you if we can't get a business that is consistently profitable. The place is in jeopardy, and there's not one element functioning properly. And your business is gonna take Jason's family down if you don't sort this out. Um, I don't want to burden my children at all. So that, that is something that is high priority for me. But you have to come to terms with yourself that it's broken, it's wrong, and you have to change. I, and I'm willing. Whatever you propose, I'll try. Otherwise, it's game over. Let's move forward. I'm agreeing to help. I'm going to put a plan in place, but uh, you, you can't continue the way you're doing it. You know that. Thank you, Jason. Thank you, Gordon. Thank you. Do you know what his plan is? I have no idea. After Karen packed up her belongings, I had my team start the renovation process while I found a place close by for Karen to move into. Hi, Karen. Are you well? I'm very well, thank you. Good. Let's step mm -hmm. inside. Something I'd like to uh, All right. show you. Come in, please. What a lovely place. Do you like it? I do. What do you like about it? Um, well, it's not cluttered. <laughs> it's not cluttered, is it? <laughs> yes, I like that. When I saw where you've been living for the last 12 months, mm -hmm. I was appalled. You shouldn't be going to bed on a piece of wood. I know. You shouldn't be doing that. If we're going to make a change, then you have to step back. I and I mean step back from the business. Mm -hmm. And that means giving yourself some space. So I've done something, mm -hmm. and I'm paying for it out of my own pocket, and I've rented this space for you for the next couple of months, okay. two months. Two months, okay. Two That's months. great. Give yourself a break. You can relax. Watch a bit of TV. I haven't had a television since 1993. So this is really a big change, yeah. So since 1993. Well, even if you're not going to watch TV, mm -hmm. read. Oh, relax. I can do. And just mm -hmm. take in the view. Mm -hmm. And if you decide to move back in there and you convert one of the rooms and it's got an ensuite bathroom, that's all fair and well. But then. You need to separate the difference, mm -hmm. not in a box. I like this. I feel comfortable here. Uh, have a look upstairs. There's a, a beautiful bedroom there okay. and a full-size bed. All right. <laughs> There's a ensuite bathroom and I see. a wardrobe to yes. yourself. Big bathroom. Very nice. I could go to sleep right now. Wake me up in two hours. We've got work to do. Oh, okay. All right. 
<laughs> that, that was comfortable. Um, Karen, you need to... You need to start thinking about being a boss, being an owner. With that comes certain responsibilities. What was it like for you to be an owner? What, what's the important? Well, the important thing was serving the guest and trying to nurture a good relationship with my employees. Right, that means setting an example, yes? Yes. And being the face of the inn. Yes. Right. What do you think is the most important thing about being the face of a business? It's having a presence. Yes. Standing out like an owner. Okay. You need to walk this historic town looking like an innkeeper, polished. Okay. Now, I feel bad about asking a lady to glamorize herself, <laughs> so I'm not trying to be detrimental. It's just okay. I'm going to send you off for a makeover. Okay. When was the last time you went and had a facial, got your hair done, and bought a new dress with a, a bright color? I don't think I've done that since I was 13 years old. When was the last time you went for a blow dry? Never. I mean, I, I have a blow dryer, but I, yeah, I never go to a salon. Right. Mm -mm. When was the last time you had your nails done? Never. Mm -mm. Never? Correct. And that was never a priority for me, oh, but you're, you're But we're going to make it. Yeah, we're okay. going to make it a priority mm -hmm. because it's about you. Mm -hmm. It's a business. You have to front it, and that, mm -hmm. that comes with an image. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're up for change. I want you to feel better. I want you to enjoy your life. I want you to appreciate what your team can do for you and hopefully just break the mold a little bit. 100%. You're happy with this? I'm ready to enjoy Good. it. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Uh, I have a security deposit here, so it's a rental. Okay. No murals. All right. Yeah? We'll leave it the way we found it. Thank you. See you shortly. All the best to you. Yeah. Do you want me to turn on the TV for you or not? <gasps> not yet. <laughs> I'm going to take this one step at a time. YouTube? Um, I've seen a few things on YouTube, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. Instagram? Never. But my granddaughter is teaching me. Selfie? Taking a picture of myself? Oh, never. Uh-uh. Tinder? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Welcome to the dark ages. Enjoy. <laughs> This was one of the toughest makeovers my team has ever taken on. We had not only moved Karen out of the town's inn, but packed up all her clutter before transforming the space. Good morning. How are you feeling? Excited. 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 Yes. The sun is shining, and there seems to be a new, bright breath of fresh air on the town's inn. We're missing somebody. Karen. We are. She's been busy over the last 24 hours. I'm hoping you notice a change. Oh, my God. I don't even dress like this to go to church, do I? <laughs> now, somebody's looking like an owner of an inn. Yes. yes. You look amazing. For someone with an Amish Mennonite lifestyle, well, yeah, I look <laughs> radically different. <laughs> you look amazing. Wow. You look so different. Karen, you look good. Yep. Really good. Are you ready to go inside? I've been dreaming of this moment. Right. So, yeah. um, follow me. Let's go. Come on, all of you. <gasps> oh. What's missing? My bed. Karen's bed. <laughs> Isn't this what a inn should look like? Yes. A tiny little convenience store that is bright and modern and everything is on view. And even if you're not staying in the inn, guests will come in and buy stuff. You can sell stuff properly. It's a proper little boutique. I'm overwhelmed. I'm... It looks amazing. Amazing. Wow. What Gordon has done is Phenomenal. The store here looks great. It's like walking into a whole nother place. Please. All right. Whoa! Gone is the dust. Well oh my done. goodness! Well done. Look at that! Beautiful design. Beautiful. When I walked to this dining room first off, it was dreary yes. and laden with junk. And now we have a proper dining room. Yes. Oh, lovely. Look at that. All day menu. Well, the menu hangs on the wall and it's written daily according to what you've got available, Jeff. Yes. And when we run out, we run out. We tear it off and we start again. If you turn around, you'll see the custom artwork on the wall. Please do not paint over that. I will not. I will promise, I promise you. Promise. No problem. That's, I love it. That's the only mural we need on the wall. Just that. Enough is enough. Yeah. Right, you ready to see upstairs? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's 
As you come up, have a little look at the hallway first, please. Oh, wow. Gone to the baskets. Anyone wants to do a little bit of work, a little bit of writing, Absolutely. can sit here. Absolutely. Beautiful. Wow. Jump in. Everything's gorgeous. <gasps> Jump in. Oh, my, oh my God. God. That's a look photographer. Oh. That's right. Oh, my God. Oh, what a vision. I can't believe it's the same oh, wow. room. New sheets, new bedding, and a new carpet. It's beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, my God. No more murals on the wall. We have a nice, stunning wall. I love it. No more Brillo pads in the wall. They've gone. <laughs> I love it. And you have your very own wardrobe. <laughs> no padlock on it. <laughs> How nice is that? Yes, you can use a wardrobe. It is exquisite. My family thinks I'm so set in my ways that I'm not going to like any of these changes and I'm going to go right back to the old way. I know that's what they're thinking. And they couldn't be further from the truth. My team has spent the last two days cleaning out the kitchen by getting rid of the microwaves, refrigerators and freezers. I've created a much smaller menu that is manageable for the kitchen staff to execute. Please, take your menu and pass them on. Oh, wow. Oh, I love it. Oh. Now, what do you think? Could it be more beautiful and appealing? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, let's be real. The kitchen is tiny. So, a small, dynamic menu as the seasons change, we go through to spring, and some of them will increase on a daily special, only according to what business is about. That makes okay? sense. And so we're not buying unnecessary, and we're not adding 10 more appetizers and entrees on there just because we want to look busy. No. Keep it plain and simple. Keep it plain, delicious, and simple. Let's go through the dishes. A high street burger. No water. <laughs> uh, no water. No. Uh, beautiful pate, wonderfully seasoned. <laughs> a griddle in there to sear and cook them to order. Chicken pot pie. Little modern twist on a salad niçoise, but we've done it with salmon. Yeah. Homemade granola. Seasonal berries. Cheap and easy to put out that tiny kitchen. And then, of course, the mac and cheese. It does not go in the microwave. What's that? I don't exactly know what that. I, what's that? The sports bar of microwaves is gone. Yes. 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 <laughs> Um, visually, what do you think? It's yeah. beautiful. Simple oh, my and God. fast. And it takes a big load off in the kitchen. Yes. And we're not buying frozen. It's all fresh. Right, knife and fork, and have a little taste. Oh, man. Mm. That is good. Oh, my. That's like mama's macaroni and cheese. People will drive from Washington, D.C. to come oh, here oh, and eat this way. So good. Tonight, the Towns Inn relaunches the inn and the restaurant. Right, how are we feeling? Good. Good. Are we awesome. ready? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Tough week, but it's been instrumental. Let's put this place back on the map, OK? Push the freshness of the menu. I don't want anyone panicking. There's nothing we can't do on the menu. Any issues, we talk about it. If we talk to each other, we prevent mistakes happening. If we shut down, things will happen without us knowing. Wow. Karen, anything you'd like to say to the team? Thank you, and I'm looking forward to moving forward. Here you go. Oh, that's yeah. great. Good luck. Let's go, guys. Thank you. Let me help you down the stairs. Thank Good you. to see you. Well, look at the town's in. I get that view checking in, it looks yes. like. Immediately, the guests see the changes in the dining room and the rooms. Yeah, it's beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Wow, look at this. Yes. Very nice. I love this bed. This is pretty nice. Oh, look at this. You got a nice armoire. And throw our stuff in here. How do you like the changes? Looks good. This I can definitely say this is way better than better. what I left. This is definitely an improvement, yes. <laughs> Cheers, too. Cheers. New restaurant in town. Indeed. That's a burger with french fries, VLT, and a mac and cheese. Great. The kitchen is functioning more efficiently with a smaller menu and is preparing the dishes cooked to order. And Karen is overseeing the inn as an owner and successfully treating this place like a business for the first time. How's everything so far? I heard you like to see it. Order in, please. Yes, I got okay. five minutes on the burger, chef. And we got two orders of fries. Fine, nice and crispy, the fries, and seasoned beautifully, yes? Yes, sir, chef. Well done. That is outstanding. So now we have a place to come in the wintertime. Good, so you can come back. Yeah, we're That's locals. Great. What does it mean, a small little local bistro to the town? How good is that for you? Actually, it's huge. Uh, we need more local bistros like this. We're really great. excited to have it. <laughs> good to see good you. Take care, good night. Thank you, guys. Good night. Good night, thank you. Take care, good night.
happy customers. Wow. I'm off. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Don't lose that passion. I won't. Yeah? Continue enhancing this kitchen and stick together. Yes. You know, you're strong together, you two. Yes, we yeah? will. Okay. Thank yeah. you, Gordon. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> yeah. Take care. We all love See you soon. Right. <laughs> See you soon. Look after each other. We will. Okay. Tonight proved that this place can work. The potential is incredible. The locals are dying to see this place at the forefront of this amazing town. The area is historic. Make sure you're in follows down that line. Karen, I know changes are going to be hard. I know you're going to resist. But you cannot afford to go back. You've got to go forward. So I know how much this means to you. And I know what kind of jeopardy is at stake if it doesn't work. So think of the consequences. It's not just you. Mm -hmm. It's your son, your son's mm -hmm. family, and the legacy that you want to continue mm -hmm. with. So I'm leaving you all the tools. Push forward. Mm -hmm. Promise right. me you're not going to go back to your old ways. No, no, this is more fun mm -hmm. and more effective. And right. I just have seen the positive response from everybody. You, you did the, the, the groundwork here. Thank so you. Thank you. You have an amazing inn. Yeah. OK. Uh, amazing location, beautiful Do not village. move those clothes back in from Lamont's basement. Uh -huh. Get rid of this stuff, let it fly off the shelves, mm -hmm. and Wait start getting mm -hmm. this place back on the map mm -hmm. and enjoy that lovely little cottage. Take time out and spend time with the grandkids and just let the business breathe. Yeah. Promise me. Yes. Promise. I promise. Yes. Thank mm -hmm. you. All right. <laughs> Gordon's visit has been extremely educational. This is good. This is right. This is what it should be. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I want the end to be successful, and I think it will be now. Take care now. Thanks, Karen. Good night. Wow. And that's it? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> oh, wait, come back. <laughs> come back. <laughs> oh, I don't want to see him go. <laughs> Since my visit, Karen has continued to lease the house I had previously rented for her and has been listening to her staff to make positive changes. That is awesome. And her son Jason has gotten involved with the business to help Karen meet their goals and both are happy to report business is heading in the right direction.